hello, this is a collective reading for mid-October. So if one of your um, signs or placements didn't resonate with you, then this reading might. And if it does, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. So let's dive right in. First card we have is relationships. Number 12, you may have been born on the 12th or the 12th month, or that number may be significant to you in some way, but this is highlighting relationships right now in your life, and it looks kind of caring and loving. We also have metamorphosis. This has been coming out a lot in the month of October. Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. It really is. And this is a crystal message card. We have lion skin tolerance. The totem animal for this stone is the lion. Unlike other members of the cat family, which tend to be independent, lions live within a communal group. There's that relationships right there. Lion skin reminds us that cooperation and tolerance is key to any group's success and sustainability. When you are in charge of a situation or group, lion skin can strengthen your leadership skills, including the ability to delegate, inspire, and communicate effectively. Affirmation, I am tolerant. I cooperate with others and willingly compromise when it's for the greater good. Hmm. Collective, that's not bad. And I think that's really interesting that both of those are about relationships. And so let's take a look at the tarot and see how that relates. We have Page of Wands, the sun. Well, you know, right away, the sun, no matter what the reading is about, the sun um, just makes everything better and brighter. Two of Cups. Okay, we definitely have some love there. Sorry, I broke my nail earlier and I didn't even know where the, the pieces had flung off to. I mean, it, it broke low. Sorry about that. So the Tower. I just know she was over there. I'm like, oh, gross. All right. The devil. Ooh, temptation there. Interesting. But it's on the sun card. And the lovers on the two of cups. Ooh, wow. What is going on here? Collective. Interesting. And this is highlighting relationships and this beautiful change. So someone is coming into your life. And I just heard that Michael Jackson song, you rock my world, you know, you did. So somebody is coming. They have a very um, young, fiery, passionate energy because we have the page of wands here and pages represent all three of the signs that they're for. So this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone who's um, very curious, very adventurous, right? Um, you know, and, and possibly artistic and boy, they are looking at you and kind of see that kind of eye there. She's even got this, you know, I don't know if that's a monocle or goggles or something like that, but, um, you know, they're looking at you. And I think this person is going to really, um, yeah, rock your world, shake things up. You know, you probably won't be expecting it because that's what the tower is. The tower is some kind of unexpected life-changing event. And this is more Aries energy right here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, but woohoo, hello. -ho. Then we also have the sun card. We've got Leo over here, but then we also have Capricorn. So this person, um, you know, I feel like they're uh, very attractive. I get that. Um, very, I wanted to say flamboyant, but I mean, just kind of, um, very outgoing, very dignified. Um, the people are really attracted to them. And when they come into a room, they just light up the room with their smile. They're very kind of, uh, I want to say boisterous, but in a good way. Um, and I think they, this is going to tempt you like crazy. Is that temptation going to be good for you? I mean, it just depends on your situation, but I think this person is, um, uh, yeah, very attractive and very tempting. Um, you know, we have to look at the positive aspects of the devil card. And, you know, the devil card also is about kind of like your inner child and, and being, um, I don't know, I want to say mischievous a little bit, but in a good way, you know, flirtatious and, you know, maybe a bit of a risk taker. Um, 
in a good way, all, all the good aspects of that, you know, maybe, Hey, let's go skydiving. You know, I'm, I used to want to do that, but I do not anymore. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I never went. I'm glad I didn't. And, you know, but I think this is the kind of person who's like, let's go do this and let's go do that. And, um, so it's going to be a lot of fun hanging around this person, right? You see him dancing in the sun. So, wow, could be a Capricorn, could be Leo. You got a lot of, um, powerful fiery signs here so a lot of celebration too i think this person is going to prompt a metamorphosis in you and, and look what we got here i mean wow so we have the two of cups which is the love card and then we have the lovers this is gemini energy over here and then we, this is cancer right here so this would be a choice in love i think um you know and this is the two of cups is you know your your divine you know, counterpart, someone who's really going to um, be there for you. But, you know, like here, there, there's two ladies there. <laughs> so um, it could be that you're attracting more than one um, person at this time. And it could be that you're the attracting and the tempting one for other people. And you could be upsetting someone else's tower in their life. And oh my God, look who just walked in a room. I got to meet this person. I got to go talk to them. You know, so I think you're going to be meeting this person at a function, um, uh, a party, or something like that. But I, I mean, look at this little face right here with the kissy smoochy. Um, I, I think that uh, you know this this connection is going to be really powerful, very intense, very spicy, very passionate. And it's going to bring a lot of um, sun and joy and happiness into your life and definitely a lot of passion. And I don't think you're expecting it. So I think this could be someone maybe um, you wouldn't normally, you know, um, be looking for. I think this is going to be very um, spontaneous. And, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's just going to really be something because, wow, collective, this is... I mean, I don't know what to say. I've never seen a reading like this before. I'm, I want to look at these before I continue. I just want to see. We've got earth as the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. Interesting. I, I, there could be a bit of chaos here because we've got the tower. Not bad chaos. Um, you know, I, chaos, a chaotic energy. You know, to me, that's a party. Um, when you have all these different people's energies and stuff, I, I don't do um, a lot of social gatherings and stuff like that because I just can't handle all the, you know, the soup of energies um, that's going on. So you may be a bit empathic in that way, but grounding is always a good idea um, to help just rid um, toxins and stuff from your body. That just means go outside, stand on the ground for like 15 minutes and Mother Earth will do um, her job. So let's see what else we have here. We've got thorns, 31. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring a new positive future. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not really feeling too much else with that card. So yeah, that might resonate with some of you. You have wedge here. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Interesting. Interesting. I get that from the lover's card over there. I feel like there might be a little bit of jealousy here. So um, someone's trying to come between you and someone else. You know, if, if that was the case, it would mean that person has some um, issues themselves. They might feel jealousy, which obviously, you know, there's you, you can't do anything about someone else's jealousy other than stay away from them. And let them figure things out on their own. Um, you know, this is not the kind of person you want in your life. If they can't, um, you know, be happy for you and, um, you know, the, the, they'll, they'll eventually kind of move on. And I hate to say it, but sometimes when people do get in a relationship, they'll just, you know, really focus all their attention on that new person and you'll kind of leave your friends kind of, you know, in the dust for a bit. So if this person doesn't understand that, you know, you're going through maybe a change, um, you know, a true friend would, you know, allow you some space to get to know a new person, especially a romantic person. If they're just a friend, you know, they would be able to give you that space and, and not be so demanding of you. So I think that's 
the thorns there. Someone might be a little jealous, but if they're a true friend, they'll understand and they'll get over it. If not, just, you know, let them go. Wish them well. So then we have moon changes in your life. We see that right there. And we have the sun and the moon here and the earth. Look at that. Earth, sun, and moon. Woo. Uh, that That's some interesting energy right there. I really like that. But so you're definitely going to have some changes coming in um, on your life. That's that's really interesting. So what do you also have? Broom, new home, new attitude. I mean, for some of you, you might even be moving in together. Um, that's a possibility. I wouldn't rush that. You know, make sure you're friends first um, before, you, you know, that would just be my advice for anybody looking to get into, you know, a romantic relationship with someone. Make sure you can be friends first before you start all the romance and the smoochy smooth. You know, it's just why would you want to be with someone you can't really tolerate? Because it's one thing to be um, attracted to someone physically and uh you know have that kind of chemistry and that's great and that's fine but if uh you know further on down the road when that passion starts to dwindle a little bit if you can't even you know you don't have anything in common and that sort of thing that's when things kind of you know kind of fall apart there so friendship is uh really really important in the beginning i really do believe that so this looks really good collective if you're looking for um a love unlike any other you you might experience some jealousy <laughs> around you because of how awesome this is but you know what don't worry about it if they're a true friend they will support you and you know be happy for you um eventually you know but if not just you know but people like that you just kind of say well you know that that's that and you just wish them well and, and let them go you know no biggie but as far as um, the mid-October, this is a very interesting read. I have never really seen one like this. I mean, this is really, woo, um, for, for some of you, this is going to be a, a life-changing event here. All right, so that is the collective mid-October read, blowing my mind here. And um, if you are interested, you can look down in the description box. I have um, a limited number of uh, personal readings available on my Etsy, and they each come with a very unique and different metaphysical kit with metaphysical items. So check that out. Some of them even have these little pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns if you're interested. And um, if this reading resonated with you, uh, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, and we will see you next time.